Now more than ever, it's important for you to look great online. Whether that's your website, social media, or the content that you produce, you want to make sure that it stands out and is enticing for your visitors. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you seven free websites to help you make your content look amazing. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And let's get started by talking about colors. The first website I want to introduce you to is actually called Coolers, spelled C-O-O-L-O-R-S. And the idea behind the Coolers website is to help you find a new color palette which is going to work for you. And the great thing is, it's absolutely free. All you need to do is select Start the Generator, and you're going to be presented with a screen with five different colors. Now, by selecting the space bar on my keyboard, all of the colors in front of me are going to randomly cycle through different palettes. Now, no, I don't have to zero in on one particular palette. Once you find a color that you like, let's say I like this particular ruby shade here, I can select this lock icon, and now this color is going to stay. So I can continue to press that space bar and see if there's any other colors that I think are going to go well with it. Maybe I like this uh, space cadet here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select that lock icon. If I want to, I can actually drag these colors over to the left-hand side if I want to, and then continue to cycle through some other colors here on the right. Now, of course, I don't need to find five different colors. I don't need a color palette which is that large, but at any time here, all I need to do is select the copy hex icon, and now I can paste that hex code anywhere I want. Next up, we're gonna stick with colors for a moment and go to the palaton.com website. Now, we can punch in any hex code or RGB code that we like. We can select from the variety of different colors here on this color wheel, but where Palaton strength really lies is in finding complementary colors. So for example here, maybe I like this purple. Maybe this is my primary color or shade for my website, but I want a slightly darker or a slightly later shade. And here it's going to show me what those shades are. If I click on them, I can get further details and copy that hex code here as well. But I also frequently look at the different relationships here up in the left-hand corner. So if I want to see what else is related to, maybe I want to see the triad of colors here, or maybe this uh, tetrad of colors here, I can see that, yeah, you know, these colors do go well with this purple. Maybe I want to use these colors as an accent. So it's quick. Quick, it's easy, it's free, I'm in and out and finding some new color ideas for all of my content. But enough about color, let's jump into adding some graphics and in particular adding some icons which are going to stand out, whether you're producing a presentation, whether you want to add some flair to your website, or wherever you want to throw a little bit of visual difference. Here I am at the flat icon website here and all I need to do is come into the search bar and type in something, let's say something like laptop. I'm gonna type in laptop and what I'm delivered with is a variety of different icons which I can use for free. Here you can see we've got a combination of both black and white icons, but we also have some more uh, three-dimensional and full color icons here to choose from as well. What I like is how easy it is to search for something here within the flat icon space. So for example, maybe I want to uh, look at some uh, phone data or something along the likes here. Now I may be presented with some pop-up ads along the way, but keep in mind all of these images here I can use for free. The one thing that you do want to note is that you must give credit to the flat icon website or to the author of each of these images, but these can really help make your presentations or your content or your website stand out. But of course, for a lot of our content, we're dealing with real images, whether they are our own or other royalty-free images that we might find online. And in many cases, we may want to remove the background and just focus in on the individual or maybe whatever's in the foreground. For that, I like to go to remove.bg, the BG standing for background. And all we need to do is to start by uploading an image. So I've got an image here, uh, let's pick 
take this one right here. I'm gonna say open. And what I'm going to do, it's going to take a moment to upload that image and then actually remove it in a matter of seconds. I didn't have to select the area. I didn't have to do anything else. Right now, I've got the image removed. Now at this stage, I can go ahead and download this image at 500 by 500 pixels. However, if I do want a full high definition image, I will need to sign up for the Remove BG service. However, in my case, when I'm dealing with things such as social media, usually my graphics don't need to be very large anyhow. So just this size is going to do me well, and it may serve you well too. Now, so far in our list today, we've talked about colors and images and graphics. But of course, depending on the content that you're producing, you wanna make sure that you have a catchy title or headline. And that's precisely where Headline Studio comes into place. Headline Studio allows you to test out a variety of different headlines and to see how well they may score against your competitors and also those who are interested in your content. So for example here, here are some that I've been testing out recently. Uh, three ways to track your time for better results. I'm gonna hit analyze, and what's it going to tell me? It's gonna do an analysis of both the word count, the types of words that I'm using, uh, are there power words, common words, and give me a score. So in this case, it's actually giving me a pretty good score saying that this might be attractive to either my viewers or other people who may be browsing my content. Let's try another one here really quickly here. Um, look at this. Now this may seem enticing here. It's nice and short and sweet. However, it might just be a little too short. And what Headline Studio is saying is that, well, at a score of 32, I should maybe try something else. Uh, look at this amazing way to tie your shoes. How about that? Is that going to change anything with my score here? Well, that certainly improved it a lot at 64, but I can continue to play around and massage these titles until I get a score which is hopefully in the green, something that's a little more enticing, and that's gonna give me the confidence to publish that headline or title in the future. Now, sticking with titles for a moment, another website that I use on a regular basis is Capitalize My Title. How often have you been preparing a title or a headline and then looking at it and asking yourself, should I capitalize this word or that word? Should that be lowercase or should that be uppercase? Well, Capitalize My Title will allow you to analyze your titles through a variety of different standards. So I'm gonna paste in that title that we just looked at on the previous website. Look at this amazing way to tie your shoes. And here you can see it has analyzed it and changed it based on the APA style. So the at is lowercase, the two is lowercase, and everything else is uppercase. Now, now, of course, you don't have to paste in your title. You can start writing in things right away. This uh, is the best way to read books at night, for example. So I typed that title in without using any type of shift key or any type of capitalization, but it has changed it dynamically along the way. So now that you have your colors and your images and your title all in place, let's bring it all together with maybe one of the best free websites of all, and that is Canva. Canva allows you to produce eye-popping and professional-looking content no matter where you are playing placing that content. So for example here, I've clicked on the social media tab here, uh, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, a variety of different formats you can browse from here and create your own professional looking posts. Maybe it's a presentation. Maybe if we go over here to uh, marketing and we need to create a poster or a business card or a Facebook ad, you can do so here as well. The great thing about Canva is that it allows you to start with a number of different templates. So you don't always have to start off from scratch. So for example, here's something that I was working on a little bit earlier today using a template that Canva presented with me. So not only is this gonna be a much more eye-catching Instagram post here, but I can come in here and edit anything I want. Maybe I don't want this to say kids at the bottom. I can just delete it here. Maybe I want to swap out this image with something we found on flat icon. I can do so. I can change the colors of anything that I want on this screen. 
Maybe I want to change the color based on something that we found on the Coolers website, for example. So Canva is not only free, but allows you to create eye-popping content, which is sure to please your viewers. Now, if you have other websites that you find useful when it comes to creating content for your website, your business, or anything online, I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.